Hi, my name is Carla Crabtree and I am attending the cosmetology program at Paul Mitchell the School, Fort Myers, Florida. And while I'm not in school, I am currently a stay-at-home mom to three beautiful children. My journey into motherhood has been different than most. This moment changed my life forever. Three days after this picture was taken, I was in the emergency room due to postpartum complications. After I had my oldest daughter, I had a hemorrhage after delivery. Little did I know that was only the beginning. Three weeks after she was born, I started to not feel well. I had pain in my chest, a pounding headache, shortness of breath, and feeling faint. I wasn't able to sleep, and my daughter was only nine pounds, and I couldn't pick her up. I was only 24 years old and never suspected something like this could happen to me. By the time I went to the emergency room, I wasn't able to walk and I couldn't breathe. Six hours later, they discovered I had a pulmonary embolism. This is when a blood clot travels to the lungs and lodges itself there. The emergency room doctor told me if I waited any longer to come to the emergency room, I would not have survived another day. I was admitted to the hospital that day, and with my current state, my husband had to become the sole decision maker for any medical decisions, including a do not resuscitate order. The first night in the hospital was the hardest. The emergency medical team had to be paged to my room, and I can still see the nurse's face and remember what she told me. She held my hand and said, don't be scared, okay? 50 people are about to enter the room. I had to be placed on oxygen because I could no longer breathe on my own. Early the next morning, I remember a priest standing over my bed, praying that I would gain the strength to beat this. The entire time he prayed for me, I just cried. My newborn daughter wasn't allowed to stay in the hospital with me. For a split second, I had thoughts of who would raise her and who would care for her if I didn't make it. I immediately shifted my mindset and did not accept those thoughts. I kept telling myself I would be there, I would raise her, and this wasn't it. I knew I wasn't done here on this earth. Five days later, I was stable enough to be released. Full recovery from this blood clot took over a year. My future pregnancies were affected by this. In order to bring my other children into this world, I had to give myself shots into my stomach every day twice a day. If I didn't take this precaution, there were increased chances that both of us wouldn't survive. These pictures are of my son and daughter, surrounded by the medication that brought them into this world and made it possible. As my children grew, their needs were much greater than average children. During this time, I knew they needed me much more than the average parent and stepped away from my career of 11 years. In July of 2019, my two oldest children were diagnosed with Autism Spectrum Disorder. We spent many days, nights, and weeks with hospital stays, doctor's visits, therapy visits, and receiving medical procedures. This is one of the unspoken truths about autism. Autism is not just a diagnosis. There are also medical challenges and conditions that follow. Being a full-time stay-at-home mom has been a challenge for me. Since I was 16 years old, I promised myself I would always have a career to support my family and be a good example for my children. Being a special needs parent is also demanding. During these years, I would consistently look at job openings, hoping to find one that could maybe, possibly, fit the tiny availability that I had. I never gave up hope and just knew that I had not found the right opportunity. Autism also comes with sensory challenges. Lights, sounds, smells, and even large crowds affect sensory processing. Due to sensory challenges, I taught myself how to cut hair through YouTube. I was struggling with my son's haircut one day, and it dawned on me that I can't be the only parent that struggles with this. Two weeks later, I was enrolling at Paul Mitchell The School. My dream is to serve those with special needs while raising awareness as a cosmetologist. If there is one thing I hope my children can take away from my experiences is to never give up hope and when you set your mind on something, you will find a way. Beauty does change lives.